Merry Christmas everyone. Stay tuned at the end of the video for some bonus uh, footage of us on the schooner when and if down in Key West last December. Welcome back to the Jenkins Boat Shop. Um, I don't know how much you'll be able to get out of the time lapse, uh, but basically what I'm doing today is cutting out a template so that I can cut out the plywood for the four deck. And I got this poster board at Walmart. It's, it's pretty thick, pretty heavy duty, and uh, basically just taped enough pieces together took a marker and drew some lines uh, along the edges and then uh, cut it out. Now part of what I'm doing is my, my plywood's eight foot long so I'm not more than eight feet uh, to my end there to here and uh, we're not more than four feet wide. It's about, uh, well how big is it? Probably at our widest point here it's uh, maybe 33, 35 inches. So uh, I think we're in good shape on that. I did flip this over to see how it would fit on the port side and it's very close. So that tells me a couple of things. We're fairly symmetrical. King plank, which is fastened down, is, is pretty much in the middle. And um, the only place where it was off a little bit was on the inside of the carlin here. Um, uh, where, the, where the combing will come and it's, it, it sticks out just a little bit further. I had to make this a little wider but I actually think I can use this same template and just tape another little piece on the inside of that. So um, gonna take it outside. It's about it's supposed to be 50 degrees today even though it's Saturday before Christmas December 22nd of 2019 and we got the Akumi plywood. And so rule number three of boat building applies today. Do not screw it up. Um, that Okumi is about 80 bucks a sheet and I have to go to Des Moines, Iowa to get it. So not only is it expensive, but it's not very accessible. So uh, I feel pretty good about this. Um, we'll take it outside and, and uh, cut it off and just be super careful. So, we'll do some more video um, once we have success with it. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, you absolutely have to think when you're doing these things. Um, I just measured this and it's about 32 deep from this front deck beam all the way back to the transom. And then at the widest point down here... Um, we're probably another 31 inches just to be safe. Now that's up to that to the king plank and it'll be the same on both sides. What I'm doing is I'm trying to figure out how I can get all the deck out of out of these two pieces of, of Akumi. And at first I had this set with this uh, straight edge that would go against the king plank clear over here on the edge that made sense. I already got a straight edge here. I wouldn't have to cut that. You can see I've got a line drawn already. And uh, <coughs> then I was like, I'm not going to be able to get 32 by 32 out of the rest of it. So I've moved it. And I've got it over there. And now uh, I, can, I can get half of the back deck out of, out of here. Um, I measured up to here. Um, I'm like 32 and 32 this way so I can get my I can get the aft deck square out of out of this piece here so that's going to maximize the usage of this man that's pretty stuff all right I'm drawing it out now and I need to not be confused by my other lines that I already had on there and don't screw it up
Well, we got this piece cut out. You can see where I had that one line drawn on there before I shifted over to uh, to the other side of the plywood, which allowed me to get a piece out, lean it up against that other full sheet. That'll be big enough that I can get that in there in the half of the back deck. So we're going to maximize the, the wood. Um, I cut this... Uh, straight line uh, that'll go next to the king plank with the jigsaw and it's dang near impossible to cut a straight line with the jigsaw especially over say close to four feet I got a little uh, sure form little Stanley sure form plane and I can take that down and probably get that close I did cut outside the lines see there you still see my pencil line there along the uh, bulkhead and I was just just too afraid to cut right on the line afraid I'd cut it short we can plane it down that's what we're gonna have to do here you'll be able to see I'm really kind of sticking up over the edge I don't know if you can see it or not yeah see how it's sticking out so Anyway, rather have it too big than too small. And you can see again there, you can see where I cut outside the line. And uh, now we come back here. I'm not sure what station that is. 8, 9, 10, about uh, 11 or even 12. Back to here. And I'm going to want this to fall right on top, halfway on top of this frame head. So I may be cutting off a little bit off of here. The other thing is you can see I'm a little bit proud over the over the edge of the carl in there. Uh, but then it goes up there pretty neatly. It just needs to be trimmed. Now, the other thing that I can't figure out, and I'm going to ask for comments and suggestions on this. This Okumi is beautiful, but the only way to get it securely down on the deck is to put screws in it. So I've got a thought about using some very thin cedar strip and uh, kind of trying to do like a teak looking type deck with uh, caulked seams. You probably just use Sikaflex or thickened epoxy or something and just put on top of that. It would just be a thin, thin layer but to cover up any screw holes. Um, the original plans call for this to just be canvassed over. So that would be an option, although I'm not crazy about it. And this wood is beautiful. I could just finish it off natural and just deal with the fact that there would be some screw holes. I'm using the bronze screws anyway, so I don't know. It might look kind of cool that way. Um, anyway, all right. Well, that's going to end this here for part one of the deck. And uh, I still obviously have to do the other side, so... We'll get all that put together, and uh, like I said, I'd welcome any comments. See you next time. But I'll do it nice. That's